you say? <laughs> I wasn't listening. I was thinking of a flow. Uh, how's it going, Sean? Welcome to the Thoughtless Experiment. <laughs> Episode 32? Yeah, 32. That's where we're at, Tony. 32. Are we? No. Do you not know? No, I really don't. Wow. That hurt. That kind of hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Every episode has just felt like one long, good episode. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're 41. Damn, I was far off. I know. You, were, <laughs> you have no sense of time. So we were talking about rap music in the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you say it in the car when you're rapping? I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm alone. If you're alone in the car. Yeah. You'll rap it. I will say it if I'm alone in the car. But I feel like <laughs> I should be able to say it any anywhere. <laughs> say what anywhere? The word blicky. <laughs> People say I can't say blicky because I'm white. You, I don't think they say you can't say it because you're white. They're saying you can't say it because you're you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I can't say, don't make me pull out my blicky. <laughs> Don't make me pull out my blicky. Don't make me. It's like it's like you threaten a child. Five, four. I'll pull up my blicky. Three, <laughs> two, one. Okay, it's, it's coming out. Do you like rapping in the car alone? Of course, I love. Uh, Tony, look at me. I'm a linky white guy. We are all rappers. Every every linky white guy raps. Is it, really? Is that a fact? That's. I don't know what it is. There, there's something about the linky white guy identity mm -hmm. that let that are we are drawn to because it's the polar rap music is most rap music is the polar opposite of our life and that's why it's interesting to us yeah that's true lanky white guy we've life. never had adversity we've basically never had a problem in our lives <laughs> you know <laughs> literally we've never had an it had any any like sort of ad adversity yeah right and so when we're able to rap like pull out my blicky pull up by pull up it's fun. It's like I want to imagine. It's like we romance. It's like what's this? This is the shit. This is this was said before. We ro romanticized the hood, and we co-opted it. <laughs> I co-opt the hood. It's so you my guys hood. Ro you romanticize we gang culture and all that, and then you guys start working for like these big Fortune five hundred companies, and we're like, we're gonna gentrify. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, literally, like you're just like Fortune five hundred for life. No, like I'll I'll be like, I'll be like in a spreadsheet, right? Yeah, working on like a like a VR goggle headset for soldiers that are going to kill little kids. Yeah, in other countries, listening to like humble. <laughs> <laughs> but in a way, lanky white guys are winning the gang war. <laughs> yeah, we're the only winners. They're just going into we own the record labels. Yeah. record labels. They're going into territories, putting like fancy coffee shops. In neighborhoods, Kendrick Lamar Cafe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, can I get the latte? Can I get the um, the blicky bottle? The blicky bottle. Blicky is a great word. It's fine. What do you mean? It's it's it's, it's the new it's the new word for gun. No. Who says that? Well, you say I I only hear you say it. Then you don't listen to rap. Okay. Help me out, Josh. Lil Pump. Who was dead, by the way? <laughs> it's just this one. Lil Pump. Lil Pump. There we go. Me. Uh, yeah. Lil Pump. Yeah. Me. Lil Pump. Sean Riley. Everybody, you know, two All people. of my friends on Discord. <laughs> Dude, everyone who, like, hangs out on Discord is such a bitch. Why? Just, like, like the nerdy, like, Sean, people. What's... Are you on Discord? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> no, but I only go I only go on sometimes to like it, it's like I like I go there as like ironically. No, you're a guy I'm I... on Discord I'm like, oh like ugh, this whole thing is stupid. You're a guy I hate. You're a guy I hate. Just end the sentence there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm done. No, it's like the guy when you as like a friend group, you want to go to a place and the whole time you're there, he's just complaining, making fun of the place. Right. Even though deep down he's having a good time. But that's a personality trait. It's terrible. Wait, wh I don't do that. Well, you do That sentence makes you seem, oh, fuck it, I hate Discord people. Are you on Discord? A, a lot, actually. I'm I not. No, I'll go on. <laughs> actually, a lot. No, I'll go on <laughs> once a month to hang out with my friends. Uh, <laughs> you that's hate Marvel movies. Do you watch the Marvel movies? Again, I get dragged to these. 
I don't know why. I don't know how all my opinions are so unpopular. I'm really not trying to be a contrarian. I'm really not. <laughs> I, I don't. Do you think I want to be a contrarian? Yeah, do you you're doing it right want? now. You're doing it right now. What are you talking about? No, really. Do you think I want to be alone on a hill with a sword fighting for my life? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> against the world. Yeah, I do, actually. Mm-hmm. You're a single child. Yeah, I am. You've had you you've never had a brother or sister that you've had to save. I am my brother. (laughs) My beliefs are my brothers. (laughs) (laughs) No, but did you have a dual personality growing up? Like a like your your uh, imaginary friend? I did. I had an imaginary friend named Bob. You had the his name was Bob. Yep, and I would play basketball with him. Would, would you he, take showers after? Would he? Yeah. <laughs> hey, would Bob win? <laughs> Bob didn't really. I couldn't. No, he would lose. I would. I would. No, I would dominate I Bob. Would domi- <laughs> but I would beat him twenty to zero. Twenty. Bob would say, "Stop it, Sean! Stop it!" And you go, "Game on, Bob! Game on! Pass the rock!" <laughs> it's like Sean, I'm scared. I'm hurt. Your dad's just to your mom. Why is Sean yelling at his imaginary friend? You're just out back. You have a, a makeshift whip. You're like, Bob, get to work. Get to work. Whoa. It's, Bob was white, by the way. <laughs> My imaginary friend was white. He was Scandinavian white. That's very white. Yeah, yeah. what about if I had an imaginary black friend? <laughs> that you up? were whipping? <laughs> yeah, John. That no, would be not bad. that I was whipping. No, I mean like. Wait, no, I'm, that would not be weird to have an imaginary no, no, black friend. No, it would be weird. It would no. be wrong. It would be weird. It would be wrong. Why? To have an imaginary black friend? That I'm whipping. That would be wrong. Yes, but yeah, yes, yes. We all agree a with child, that. <laughs> right. But a child. A child. What? But a child. Like, a child like myself. Yes. You know, all right. Imagining. You imagine friends that are the same race as you, I think. And that's not what? racist. <laughs> no. That's, that's not racist. Yes, that's not is. racist. That means you can't imagine any, any other type of friend. <laughs> Like but what? no, I'm talking about an imaginary friend. Also, this is when you were at your purest moment as a child. <laughs> and even at your purest moment no, no, as no, a no. child. I want to watch. Like, my imaginary friend will look exactly <laughs> like me. Yeah, Lanky, that's... tall, and we like finance. <laughs> okay, no, I wasn't a douchebag yet. <laughs> no, no, actually, I walk, I walk all it back. I walk it all back. I walk all that back. Walk, I think I had like a. I think my imaginary friend wasn't like even like a human. Mm-hmm. Like it was I could, like a, mine didn't know, even like have a race. Fictional. It was mine didn't even have a physical form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was imaginary. No, but it didn't. Like I wasn't like. It was just Bob couldn't. It was you know from Twin Peaks, Bob the, an, the antagonist. Yeah. With the hair. Yeah. He would show up and go. <laughs> That was what he bows him. <laughs> so you're just you were possessed. <laughs> I love, I love, yeah. That that's one of my favorite scenes from any film or media. Yeah, is when in Twin Peaks. Have you seen that? Mm-hmm. Have you seen Twin Peaks? Uh, no. Oh, dude. Remember? So there's a scene. This guy Bob possesses people. So you and did you really have wait quick what his name's Bob too? Yeah. In Twin Peaks. Yeah. But no, there was no, no, I, I, it was not, I didn't name him Bob because of the Twin Peaks though. I had, I had not seen Twin Peaks. Did you really have an imaginary friend, John? Uh, <laughs> or did you just imagine him right now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but there is this scene that. Or did Sean plan this out? He goes, I'll say Bob. Yeah. You know, we'll talk about my imaginary friend and my problem. And how he's not black. Yeah, my problem is my imaginary <laughs> friend. That will get chuckles. I will put myself in a corner. Tony and Josh will attack me. <laughs> and then we can transition into Twin Peaks. Yeah. He did a rope a dope. Do you have this all scripted, all planned out? There are many things that I have <laughs> planned. How have, how was your week? We we haven't seen each other for like fucking five days, six days. Yeah, yesterday. Oh yes, yeah, so, but I mean like. Yeah, no, we've we've been apart, Tony. We've been apart. How was what you do this week? Ah oh, man, dude, this week's been crazy. Yeah. This week's been crazy, man. My week, oh man. <laughs> you guys don't even want to hear about my week. Um, I um struggle with my. My diet. I was eating a lot. What have you been eating? Because, like, 
I, I flip and flop. Sometimes I'll have like a bad day where I'll eat like a bunch of powdered donuts. Yeah. And then I'll eat like really well. Yeah. Like one day I'll have powdered donuts and like soda. Right. And then the next day I'll have like salmon and quinoa. Yeah. And I'll go back to powdered donuts. Damn, you have constant diarrhea, don't you? It's horrible. Yeah. You know, <laughs> your really stomach never gets actually, used to anything. No, yeah, no. My shits are sometimes they're great, but a lot of times they suck. <laughs> Um, and then other than that, dude, uh, hosted a Cap City Comedy Club, a local comedy club here in Austin. That was fun. Pretty stoked on that. Um, and I have a funny story about that. Yeah. Should I tell it? Tell it. Okay. It's really, it's pretty funny. Um, um, the, the wall, we share a wall. The club shares a wall because I was in the small room. It shares a wall with the main room uh-huh. and it's, it's a very thin wall. It's actually a window. <laughs> it actually, there's basically no wall. No, there's a wall, but there's not, there's not that much soundproofing. Yeah. So I would do like, do a joke. I'd be like, I'd be like, so dating's weird. And then from the, in the main room, you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was, um, Craig Robinson was in the main room and he has a, <laughs> a musical act, right? He's, he's a has band. Yeah. So I'd be like, yeah, you know, I, I, college was weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, but it'd be like muffled. It'd be like, yeah, and I'd be like, it's impossible. It's it was, it, but we it, we made it work. It was fun. Love the room. Love the club. Please did have me meet, back. Did you go up to Craig? <laughs> no, did I didn't up, see him at all. Why don't you go up to him and go? You're ruining my time. Well, no, like literally, like they they turned they turned because the, the 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 sound of the instruments was loud, so they did turn that down. He like had 10%. a whole band. Yeah, he's a yeah. band. Yeah, he's got a band. He does kind of like a like. Musical parody. Oh. Yeah. He fucking sold out like f- f- a thousand. It was crazy. Yeah, but when, when you sell out, you can ruin other people's sets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, you would no. do the same thing if you were in the main room. You would hire a band just when you found out there was another <laughs> room. We're small. You'd hire oh, some young guys you, trying hire, to do a stage time. Yeah, you'd hire a mariachi band, not even to stand in your room, <laughs> but to stand outside of the door where the people <laughs> enter that room, and they would just play for like an hour. I, I no, I, I would do something vicious like that. I would be like, I wouldn't even let them perform. I'd be like, no, more. I want more of my fans to be in the small room and listen to me through the wall. Yeah, <laughs> that's the balcony extra. <laughs> that's the spillover balcony seating. Um. But yeah, no. Uh, and then what else did I do? I don't know, dude. I was in I was in Las Vegas. You were in Vegas. Have you ever been? <sighs> no. Man, this was the. Third I love Las. I love gambling though. I love poker. Yeah, the the gambling was fun. Gambling that that that's I. This was the third time I've gone. The first time I went was two days with my dad and a, his friend. So it was like a lot more chill. They're older, more like a little conservative. We did more like going to the shows, right? Gamble a little bit, get nice dinner, whatever. Second time I went uh, was for a day, and it was after a show, so we kind of just went to like a nightclub, lived it up for a night, and then left, which that was great too. You know, that was good one night, live it up, leave. This time, I was there since Wednesday, Wednesday through Monday, and now I have. I, I don't think that should be a city. <laughs> and that should not be a city. It is the saddest city. After day two, it's you realize it's the 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 fucking the the kratom wears off. You know, acid your acid eyes clear, and you realize, oh, this city should be burnt. God is mad at us, and I'm an atheist, and God is mad at us. It feels filthy. Oh, it's, it's the, a filthy city. It's just, it's just so the the strip is clean because that's where like the Bellagio is, the mm. Caesar's Palace. That's where like Frank Sinatra's ghost. So just, they they keep it clean there. Like a homeless guy's laying there. Within ten minutes, the police show up and they like pick him up, and shoot him they, in the head. They move him to downtown <laughs> and they're like, "This is your home." <laughs> but like the Fremont area street, man, it is. They have like these little circles. They have like these little circles that like street performers could sit on, right? And, like, perform. And you would think, like, street performers, oh, it's going to be, like, very talented, like, dancers or singer. No, it's just homeless people that have no talent (laughs) that are literally just drumming or, like, saying. There was a guy who, there was a guy who was probably 62 years old. Okay. 
wearing a Party City Superman costume. Did not have the body like Superman. Was very fat. Dirty. Superman costume was dirty. Are you trying to turn me on? And had a <laughs> had a black had a black wig with a gray beard and was saying ten dollars to take a picture with Superman. <laughs> and all the fam like the kids would like look and my, the mom would be like, You want a picture with Superman? And she the kids like, No. He goes, I'm just spending this on fentanyl later. <laughs> Do you know what that is, Tommy? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was Wow. Dude, the craziest lady was a lady in a motorized wheelchair who was wearing a Nixon mask. And she I said, would run away yeah, from that. And I was That's on, I was on, I was on psychedelics, which made it even scarier. And she's sitting there. What type of psychedelics? Uh I was Molly. Oh, okay. So I'm like you, buzzing. It's not a psychedelic. It can give you psych. It can give you a, a psychedelic feel, right? People, I'm s- sorry to derail your story, it's Tony. Definitely, you're letting out uh, some some good feelings, but I won't say. Yeah, Tony, you're All on right. you're on fentanyl. <laughs> Maybe. You did fentanyl. All right. You, sorry, I don't want to be a dad. Can I be a dad? You can be a dad. MDMA is methyl dioxy methamphetamine. First of all, you're on meth, which is hilarious. You did meth. That's funny. <laughs> Secondly, the meth that so- you did is cut with fentanyl because it's manufactured in China. They sell it to Mexico mm-hmm. and the cartels smuggle it into America. Yep. When they smuggle it in, yeah. they maximize their profit margins yeah, yeah. and they cut it with fentanyl. Can I just you say did fentanyl and you did meth. Can I just say this? Not I'm, a I'm, you glad, didn't do acid. I'm glad you didn't come on the trip. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't come on the trip with us because because I would have had to save your yeah, life. No, you would have You'd done like, that every day. You would have given that speech every morning, every evening, every night. Don't call it a speech. It's I don't want you to die. Our buddy I don't just want won a comedy competition. And the first thing you said to him after congratulations was, hey, just FYI, you're gonna have to pay taxes on that. Like, yeah. <laughs> you don't know how to just, y- y- yeah. Hey, you know what? You don't know. Enjoy what Enjoy the moment. We would be at a nightclub probably, and someone would be like, "Hey, man, do you want to smoke some weed?" And you'd be like, "Man, that might be laced with some shit. He might try to roof you." Oh my god. Yeah. Hey, you know what? See ya. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You don't know what you got till it's gone. You need my tax advice. Cause, <laughs> cause Casey, yeah. you know, yeah, maybe I'm a buzzkill, but the next day Casey's gonna wake up with a little with a check, yep. And who's he gonna call? Yeah. He's gonna call no, Sean Riley. No, no Sean, 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 Sean Riley's Sean, CPA no, tax advice. Sean, Sean, my thing is the tax thing is not a bad thing. That's a nice thing to tell him, but maybe not a minute after he got the reward. It was it been a couple hours. I said, I said, here's that's how. Like, that's it, here's like how it went. Tom Brady after he wins the seventh Super Bowl. Like, hey, Tom, congrats on the Super Bowl. Also, you have CTE. Like, you wait, <laughs> you wait two weeks. You wait, let him go to Disneyland, let him fight Mickey Mouse because he got mad, right? You know, and then you go, oh, he has CTE. <laughs> let him kill his family. He, he has seven Super Bowls. Let him. Does he have CTE? He probably will. He doesn't even get tackled though. Yeah, he has. He's gotten tackled. He's been in the league for like 18, 19 years. He's been tackled. He's yeah, had, but like he's I've had, always I've always heard this story about Tom Brady about like, oh, like he knows how to fall and that's why he doesn't get CTE. Is there any truth to that? Like, no, oh, he knows even, how to get tackled. Yeah, he knows how to get tackled. He goes down. He doesn't get big hits all the time. He makes sure he tries to make sure not to get hit big. But he's gotten hit pretty big and he's had a few concussions. Uh, yeah, if you can cut, I mean, everyone's has a concussion in their life, though. Yeah, but there's a difference between you because Bob pushed back. <laughs> 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 and Tom Brady getting hit by like, by like walls of that are human beings. True, but I mean, like you look at like the linebackers. Yeah, they're they're they're, ju- they're walls. Those aren't human. They're like fucking. They're brick houses. Yeah, right? but their heads are. I mean, but like you, but you look at the number of hits a linebacker takes. That's. I would say thousands of times, let's look at the quantity of hits. Mm. Linebackers are hit thousands of more times. I don't know football. I would, I, would pres- I would assume they're hit thousands of more times. Tom Brady gets sacked once a game, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Not even that, right? Or, or more. A few times a game, like once or twice. Like one to five. So let, let's say Tom gets sacked three times a game. Yeah. That's three hits. Yeah, but also, Sean, when they're coming and trying to sack Tom Brady, they're running at full speed. But they're not hitting his head. 
Yeah, but when he falls, he hits his head. Yeah. But only but only three times. That's what I'm saying. It's like when he actually does fall. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. So, like, that times how many games? I just don't. Uh, maybe he does have CTE. He probably will have, I think. Do quarterbacks get CTE? I thought QBs yeah. don't get CTE. That's the Dude, whole point. They're one of the lower ones. Uh, wide receivers, tight ends, fullbacks, mm-hmm. running back. Those are the ones that get the, the most. Yeah. Also, dude, the hit. whole thing with CT, I don't think people like people exaggerate like how bad <laughs> CT is. And linebacker. Oh. <laughs> what if I just became the NFL? Like the NFL spokes. Like, look, CTE, this is not directly correlated to football. Sean, you all would- these football players, they may just be doing some other activity causing CTE. We don't know the connection. Sean, There's you would no make connection. A, you would make a great commissioner to the NFL. If I these people kill. really love the game, they would do it for free. <laughs> Give me all the profit. Yeah, uh, why we it's our contracts. We should get the sponsorship money. <laughs> why do they get the Nike sponsorship? I should I mean, maybe I have CTE. <laughs> My wife does. I hit her. Cause I'm, cause of all the anger. <laughs> cause my league, cause I, my sport is failing. My whole livelihood is, is falling apart. Football is falling apart. It's not falling apart. Yeah, Tom it Brady is. says uh, <laughs> it is. He admits he's had uh, m- multiple concussions. Tom, also, wow. also, also, Sean, that's uh, another example of you ma- saying a statement with no proof. Football is falling apart. Football is at its most popular right Re- now. <laughs> Are you fact checking me? Yeah. It's tr- but it's true It's because it's a factual statement. I'm not. Fa- it's just a factual statement. I say. I mean, look. We're if what are we here to do if not lie? <laughs> it says Brett Favre had the most concussions. Yeah, and look at him now. Brett Favre stealing money from the poor. CT is a real problem, <laughs> dude. That's what if he's like. I honestly, I don't know. Like he gets busted, right? They're like Brett. Like, why did you do this? That was not your money to build use. Brett's just like, where am I right now? <laughs> Wait, you're, you're, like, telling, you're telling me I am not a villain from a DC comic? <laughs> yeah. No. So, yeah, I probably did fentanyl in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> but it, what, I, let's, zo- let's, let's zoom in on called, that. It's called coming back. <laughs> what a callback. <laughs> <laughs> George is my manager and he looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, but let's can we pot I want let's we have a, we can talk about Vegas, but let's zoom in on that. Yeah. You probably did fentanyl. How does that make you feel? Maybe. I maybe did fentanyl. That's how I look at it. You maybe did fentanyl. Yeah. You you didn't test the drugs presumably. No. But you got, you got, no, you, but no, can, but I, can I tell you what I you're test, about to say how next? I tested it was <laughs> you let your friends do no, it no, first. No, no. I watched a guy who bought drugs from that guy do it. And I looked at my watch and I go, it's been two hours and he's still standing. Daddy wants a taste. And then daddy went and bought some. That's how I do it. I'll watch. I'll watch from the corner. I'm like, okay, okay. He's buzzing. He's buzzing. He's fine. He's fine. Do you see the problem with that approach, though? <laughs> is that yeah? Is that the pill that you pe- take, or whatever, may not be the may maybe the one that that had a little bit more fentanyl. The kid in in Mexico might have spilled a little bit, knocked over the fentanyl bottle. Well, you know? and, and then those pills. hey, hey, you know what? And if I would have died, I would have haunted that kid for the rest of his life. <laughs> and he would have he would have learned his lesson. <laughs> don't don't watch out how, how much fentanyl you put in this Molly you pill. Know, this yeah, is- fentanyl deaths uh have been going up in Vegas. Really? In Vegas? In, 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 Vegas? in specifically yeah. Huh. Between January and July of twenty twenty two, there were hundred and ten huh. fentanyl overdoses. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> well, I do this fucking podcast by myself, Tony. <laughs> and this isn't just for Tony. For everyone listening, you fucking drug addict pieces of shit. <laughs> Get a fucking life. Get a. You just said the other day all you did was eat powdered donuts. Yeah, but at least I was buzzing. <laughs> Yeah, but powdered donuts are gonna kill me slowly. How are you this anti-drug? And you want to say anti-drug? Blicky. I'm not. How do you want to say blicky and also be this anti-drug? Oh, oh so I believe in the Second Amendment. I have to <laughs> love drugs. I can't. 
I can't own a dr- own a gun. Own a drug. I can't own a flicky. <laughs> what if someone pulls up? Okay, I would love you. Pull, don't pull up. You should go Literally. give a speech to the NRA. We here at the NRA love our blickies. <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of old white people blicky, blicky. I believe in all blickies. <laughs> The right of every man, woman, and child to own a blicky <laughs> and a Glock. Uh, so, yeah, I did fentanyl. So, but. <laughs> <laughs> do, I feel, also, do I feel good about I, it? No. Can I, I just say. Time. Can I just That's say. so great at the time. The drug. I, I fucking. Uh, I hate this. Every, people are so fucking stupid. <laughs> They're so fucking stupid. People go. Every time someone does drugs, every fucking time you go to a, 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 you're traveling and people do drugs, they buy drugs. Oh no, like my friend got this cook up. My, my friend got his hook and he's like super tight, bro. Like this shit's straight from like straight like China white, bro. Or like they'll be like straight, like straight Columbia pure. <laughs> it's like you're doing fentanyl, you fucking idiot. No, bro. Like the, you know, the whole, you know, the whole supply chain, you know, the all drugs that go through a supply chain, my drugs that I bought subverted this whole supply chain. I got it. My guy goes straight to El Chapo. My guy buys straight from El Chapo and we got a hook. My guy makes Coke. It's like, no, you are not immune to the drug supply chain, Tony. (laughs) (laughs) At the end, end, it was just you. (laughs) Hey, also, Sean, I've never said the sentence ever. No, I'm pretty sure I got this right from El Jabba. (laughs) But that's what people are saying. I've never said that. That's what people are saying. That's what they're fucking saying. They're like, who? Oh, who? These, who? These, who has said that? These, Give me one name and don't say Bob and don't say fucking Bob. <laughs> Give me one name. And no one's My, ever you said know? I went to El Chapo's house. No. And this this is China White. <laughs> that was from the Tarantino movie. <laughs> but my point stands. You did. Uh, any, you take a Jessica, a Caitlin, a, Mad- a Madison. They go to ACL. They go to Coachella. They go to Lightning in a Bottle. They buy the same MDMA fentanyl that you bought. And they're no, Jake's hell of shell. No, 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 Jake. You don't know Jake. Jake would never do that to me. Jake would never do that to me. This shit's pure. And then they do it, and they they, they have white, sh- you know, start foaming at the mouth. That's why they call it white China, because <laughs> it turns your body white. Uh, no, I mean, but it's like, you know what? Hey, it's I'm, I'm not even exaggerating right now. Dude, literally, earlier today, we were out front, and Gabaza took a hit of his weed pen and gave it to well, me. Uh, no, I didn't. I never or, did he, didn't he didn't. He yeah. didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody you know. Yeah. Someone I know. You're, uh, you're Chab- ashamed of your drug use. <laughs> Chabaz. <laughs> Chabaz. We mom. have a third pot. <laughs> a pod- this isn't Josh. This is we Josh. Have a podcast we have a host that just in case Chab- Kamaza <laughs> dies of a fentanyl overdose. He, he loves that white China. <laughs> <laughs> no, but well, I took a hit of a weed pen and you looked at me and go, Ah, I bet your lungs doesn't like that. And it's like, <laughs> like, I know this is not good for us, Sean. I know it's not good for us, but it makes us feel good. <laughs> so why can't you just leave it there? Just because you can't do it, because when you do it, you have panic attacks. <laughs> Tony, first of all, Doesn't first of all, Tony, I could, re- I could smoke you under a fucking table. Okay? George. Oh, God, you're George. Such a <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. George, first time I ever did DMT. I did DMT <laughs> once. It was me. Three friends. The the vibe was great. Oh we had fuck the you! Pure- Four. No, no, no. Am I not in the friends? Because you didn't do it. You were in it. You were just, just me watching. And three a- friends and Sean. And Sean. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. When we do drugs, you're not a friend. <laughs> you're a colleague. Hey. When we do drugs, you're a colleague. But so we do it, and Sorry I wake I up from my sober. DMT trip. I wake up from my DMT trip. First thing this guy does is start throwing gang signs at me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Come on. It freaked That's me out. That's so funny. It freaked you out? Yeah, I thought Good. I was back Good. in the hood. Good. Oh my God. <laughs> I almost pulled out my blicky. 
You don't stay strapped. You're a bu- why do you what, what's your thing? Why are you so anti-drug? You're anti-weed. I, you're an, you're a Republican. This past year, Austin no, has turned you into a Republican. No, it hasn't. First of all, first of all, I want to legalize and regulate all drugs. Okay. I don't I I want like and not and some drugs have too much regulation. Some drugs, like amphetamines, like Adderall, <laughs> I got to go to a doctor and get a prescription for it. I should be able to go to 7-Eleven and buy Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> right? And if I get if I get <laughs> Nobody agrees with you, you go, right? No. <laughs> I like drugs. No. <laughs> no, you shouldn't just Wait. be able to go buy Adderall at 7-Eleven. That's so backwards. <laughs> How bad would 7-Eleven Adderall be? <laughs> whole, no, it would no, be worse no, than no, 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 it would be fine. Seven Eleven Adderall would be worse than fentanyl. It'd have no a bull on it, and it and just like running through a wall. <laughs> yeah. I don't look Scorpion so, Adderall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would brand it. They, I, that's a world I want to live yeah, in. It would be bad. It's like those gas station dick pills that yeah. you get. It would be bad. Yeah. It would be meth. It would be meth. Yeah. <laughs> it, but the point is it's regulated why math. why should I not why first of all I can't manufacture my own amphetamines that's illegal yeah I need to go to a doctor and feign an illness to get amphetamines that's illegal which is illegal so or why can't tell the truth but then I won't get the amphetamines why am, why am I not what allowed what do you mean because I don't have what do you mean Oh fuck you! Like I'm gonna get prescribed. <laughs> yeah, Sean. I probably if would. you walked in and you just go, <laughs> you just walk in. How you walk in the building? Just walk and start yeah, ranting yeah. about. You'd walk in. You'd and, walk in and just be like, mm, "What's the tax code on this point? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your what's your property validation if, on this?" And they'd be like, "Yeah, let's give this kid Adderall. If, He's unbearable." If I did Adderall, it would be <laughs> bad for the world. If I did Adderall, why would it be bad? I would. I would. Uh, You'd be like this. You're like this right he, now. He'd rule it. I would. I would. I would turn. I would. It would be bad. I would be a tobacco executive. This moment, I started doing Adderall. Really? Yeah. I think you should do it. <laughs> no, but look, hear me out. <laughs> sun, like you bought a Sunkist, right? You was, you're drinking a Sunkist. You trust. You trust the manufacturing quality up to this point that you think the Sunkist is safe to drink. Yeah. I want the same standards to be applied to all drugs okay. and fentanyl. Amphetamines, opiates, opioids. Okay, but what about like the time when Bluebell fucking was killing people? What do you? What was Bluebell? The ice cream they had salmonella poisoning. And it killed like five people. Well, I mean, I the I want then the then then the liability is on the company to manufacture a good product. So you think every so drug should be legal? Every drug should heroin? be heroin. Well, what is what is what is heroin? Heroin is an opioid. Yeah. So instead of heroin, fentanyl, um, they're all opioids, right? Yeah. So I wouldn't just, there would be different products that uh, are painkillers. So you would, would and you, you could, do, would you and do you could the, buy them at the store. Would you do the drugs if it was legal? No. No. I, I, I might. No, I, no, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't, because I think they're dangerous. I don't, I, they're okay. addictive. Okay. But I don't think we should be limiting anyone's, because you did. I did Molly. You did Molly this weekend. I did. And, and was, guess what? Hey, it was fun. And guess what? I was buzzing. Wouldn't you have wouldn't you rather go to 7-Eleven? No, and I buy would I would never I would rather buy Molly from a homeless man than 7-Eleven. But but the difference is this. I'm being very serious. I'm being very real right now. <laughs> Come to Bucky's, get your Molly at Bucky's. <laughs> they got Lis- I, Listeria. it was Listeria <coughs> is what it was called. Oh, for the Bluebell stuff. The Bluebell thing. Yeah. Talk about blue ball. I don't know. It's, it's a bacteria. Look, you you go you go to Seven Eleven. You buy your MDMA. You get your pill, and you know that that pill it has been qual has been a factory yeah. that is designed to give you to to it's it's like it would be like you know like Walter White with the with the math. Yeah. No adulterants. It's one hundred percent, ninety nine percent, point nine percent pure meth. I want that to be applied to ecstasy, all these drugs. Yeah. If you, why? I agree with you. I agree with you, but that's not going to happen. Because of Big Pharma. Because of Big Pharma. And Big Pharma and doesn't also, want you to take ecstasy. And also, also people like you that are buzzkills. 
How am I? I'm an advocate for this completely. I know. And I, I think it's... It'll collapse the prison system. It would. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, I just think it's... Dude, I have one business idea, though, that we should we should all get in on in Vegas. It's brilliant. On what Fremont Street, they had a, a, a dispensary. You look through, it looks like a real dispensary. And on a very small piece of paper by the door, it says, this is not weed products. We are not legally allowed to sell marijuana here. Uh huh. But they make it look like weed. They call it all the weed names. And uh, yep. I've watched so many drunk tourists spend like three, four hundred dollars on CBD. Really? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's. But you're not. That's that's shitty. That's shitty. But still, you trick. You're tricking people. Let's do you're it. Tricking people. We thought you would like that. Yeah, you're a trickster. No, I want return customers. It, I it, want money. People aren't going to come back to my store. Yeah, but free money. The, only, are, the it, only reason that works is because tourists get. There's just a cycle. It, I guess it works. Yeah, it's a good business. You yeah, s- you want returning customers? Yeah. You sell bombs. <laughs> <laughs> you sell no, bomb- I don't. That, bombs. I'm bomb adjacent, Tony. You're bomb adjacent, but that <laughs> is taking away half your clientele. Instantly. No, the country doesn't. The country needs bombs. Well, always needs bombs. All right. Bombs are always in demand. Right. But yeah, Vegas sucked because I did fentanyl. How was the comedy? <laughs> I love it. The comedy was all right. <laughs> it, I think, so it was a festival. You could tell the f- first two days were great. And then late day three, you could tell the audience was like drugged out. Tired standing up all day, so it was like very like. Oh, so you're doing comedy to why they stand up? Some people, there were some rooms with standing room only, but like also they have to wait in line to get into another room. Like it's a lot of stand, dude. My feet were killing me, like just walking around all day. So by like day three, I think everybody was just tired. Yeah, but it was so fun. It was a good, good time. They had, they had masseuses, which was great. I got a massage every day. From that homeless guy? No, like a bag <laughs> massage. But, like, dude, it, it is crazy, though. Like, our friend, uh, Christy, her wallet fell out of her bag. And she said right when it hit the floor, three homeless people. Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, like rats. Damn. And she like, lost her wallet? Mm, they just took it. The the homeless... Dude, the, <laughs> the homeless That's problem, fucked. it's different. Because Austin, I still think they're more aggressive. In Vegas, they're just, like... They're just waiting in the shadows for you to fuck up. Like mm-hmm. they're they're like more planned out. They're just like waiting. Oh, they're smarter. And they're, yeah, they're watching you. Like I, rem- we got back at our Airbnb and we were staying in like a weird little, in a weird area right next to the arts district. Like you could tell it's getting gentrified, but our, the the few blocks away was not. Uh, and every night we would pull in to our, Airbnb, and there would be a there was a car busted up car with two guys and they would just watch us get into our house. Wow. And I think they were just checking to see, are they fucked up? Like, t- is today the day? So I would always say, like, just act so, like, don't act. But just get in there, like. Ooh, it's like the lions watching, like, the looking for the injured gazelle. Yeah. yeah. No, like, but I would tell, because you know I mean? one of my friends. They're scanning. And you go out there, I got a blicky. One of my friends, she was, <laughs> one of our friends, she was yelling, I'm drunk, I'm drunk. And I'm like, no. let's not yell that. Let's not yell that you're drunk and that you're, I go, fucking act serious. We're in Las Vegas. We're in Las Vegas. Are you serious? Yeah. As you're on fentanyl, but, sir. <laughs> yeah, she. Yeah, she's on. Yeah. Well, alcohol is probably as bad as fentanyl. Also, I love Vegas what? now. They have a time limit at restaurants. Like oh, buff- they do buffets. Oh well, that's that's for, for the homeless because it. Mm. They don't want people buying uh, coffee and then sleeping there for ten hours. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or is it because or like. No, because they have to we, serve dinner, and then doesn't the menu change? Yeah, but a buffet yeah. is like an hour, an hour, and I was like, "Come on, let me." Oh, see it's here. an hour. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I'm like really? Let me, let me see here. Well, day. was it was it an hour because you showed up like late into lunch, or was it like no? It's, you get it, there. It says on the website like an hour time limit. Once you sit down, you get an hour. Dude, I would go there at the end of lunch, and then they when they flip it to dinner, get two meals. Mm. Dude, I went to the sushi buffet once. Mm. Oh, it was horrible. Why? Oh my god! I mean, well, actually, the sushi was really good, <laughs> but like, but like, it was just so much. You were yelping. Best sushi I ever had. Yeah, 
That's a, He would be the Yelp reviewer that was <laughs> one star, but then you read it and you're like, that seems like a very positive experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I will be back soon. <laughs> that seems like a good time. I also think Vegas. I think uh, sushi in Vegas is really good, right? Yeah. I so, dude, we went to a Japanese uh, barbecue that was amazing. Oh, uh, I'm so jealous. But uh, so, that sounds so good. I think I think <laughs> like in Vegas, like the casinos and stuff, they're still killing it. But because they were off for an entire year, I think they've raised the prices like drastically. Like, well, like yeah, it's like in, with inflation and everything. I think it's just, they didn't have like customers for a year. But I'm like, you're Vegas. You you were fine. Vegas was packed back in June, dude. Yeah. Vegas uh, closed down. Yeah, they closed down yeah. for like three months. But yeah. you have to think about it for six months. Them six months closed. The amount of money that they lose. Yeah, like these casino owners. Like to them, they probably were freaking out. Six months of twenty four hour fucking service. I just think the city needs to shut down. I don't think twenty. I don't think twenty four hours is healthy. I love that. That's dude, the watching only thing I like someone about it. watching someone gamble at four in the morning. They bec- they turn into an animal where wouldn't they're just like staring at like a screen, right? Wouldn't it be harder though to shut it down because that system is so big to get it up again the next day versus if you just have people constantly working, it constantly stays like in a perpetual Okay, motion, how about you know this? I mean? How about this? Have a guy that does a vibe check. At 4 a.m., you walk around the... Eight, you it's walk Sean. Around. Sean's the vibe check <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah. Honestly, it I would go, make people want, want to quit fentanyl? instantly. No, it would make... If Sean came around going like, um, are you sure you want to put another $40 on red? It seems like you're down $260. You might want to sleep it off. Maybe <laughs> maybe, maybe we can grab you a bottle of water and you can think about it before you make your next bet. <laughs> and then the person would be like, fine, I'm just going to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather just go to bed than listen to this. He would no. be kicked out of Vegas. Vegas is a want that. They you know what I'd do? I'd see like quipping a pussy and jam it all in there. Jam it in. <laughs> that is your thing. Let your it ride. Thing is, that's your addiction is gambling. Sometimes. Because you would be the guy that would lose your entire life savings, lose your house, oh, yeah. lose your family, all that. And then you'd, you'd be homeless and then you'd look at me and go, at least I didn't do fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> at least I didn't trip on Molly. <laughs> that's funny. Like a sober homeless guy that's like entitled. <laughs> yeah. It's like seeing like rich coked out like frat bros be like you disgusting. I'm like sitting in trash, You're and sitting I'm like in your own you shit. fucking just drug addicts lose. Wipe, my wiping sick. your ass, yeah, like, wiping, you fucking make me sick. Yeah, now get these get these drug addicts out of my community. Yeah. And I'm like eating a bag. <laughs> I'm like sleeping in a McDonald's yeah. checkout bag. <laughs> And these frat bros like, bro, no, no, no. they're like, here, bro, we can help you out. Don't even look at me. Don't even look at me, you piece of shit. I don't want shit. your money, yeah, your drug money. Yeah. <laughs> the, the only upside to the fentanyl crisis is all the frat bros that will die. Oh, oh Jesus. Someone actually made that point about um, legalization of cocaine because uh, fentanyl is like right now huge. A lot of people are dying from fentanyl because of cocaine. And cocaine is a rich person's drug. Mm-hmm. So, like a senator's kid or something is gonna die from it, or a very powerful person's kid is gonna die from it, and that is going to be the change. Hunter Biden, <laughs> maybe, but no, seriously, someone like with that stature is gonna die from it, and then that's going to be the change. I don't think, dude. No, I don't. I, I still don't think that uh, you cannot fight big pharmaceutical. Shareholders, you will lose. They have lobbyists. They have millions of dollars. They have um, the law on their side. They have the politicians on their side. They will never allow. They will never allow for a future where drugs are al- are so sold. So, if you're stores. saying they're never going to allow it, let me do them sometimes. Well, and let me play the slot. Let, let me play the drug roulette wheel. I mean, you know Russian roulette. Yeah, where it's like six bullets. Yeah. Basically, when you do MDMA, you're just like more. It's a more cartoonish revolver. It's one bullet, but it's been a way bigger <laughs> chamber. It's like, oh, da, 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 da. it's like it's, it's like the prob- wheel of fortune wheel. Yeah. Like it barely hits yeah, on the like, one hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like death. Up oh, that you made it. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it almost gets the million dollar on wheel of fortune. Like whoa, oh, you lived. Yeah. Um. 
No, but two, yeah, two milligrams of fentanyl can uh, kill you, especially <laughs> if you don't have a tolerance. <laughs> two milligrams. All right. Do you even know what a, how much a milligram of a powder, not, what a powder looks like? Not a much. milligram of a powder? Not Nothing. Much. You only know it in lines. <laughs> you know what a line is? More than two milligrams. <laughs> But um, I don't know. I'm, they, I'm yeah. done being an hey, ass. Hey, you're right. Vegas sucks. I should go there and fix that city. <laughs> should I run for mayor? How would you fix Vegas? Well, I would try to pass an ordinance that legalizes all drugs. Okay. In Vegas, and and I would allow businesses to manufacture. Sorry, I'm really libertarian today. I really I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop. I'm probably wrong about all this too. <laughs> no, forty <laughs> you, forty-two percent of uh, pills tested right now have uh, fentanyl in it, at least two milligrams. So, yeah, more than likely you did take fentanyl. And the pe- podcast right before, they are talking about how he this one guy tests all his coke. He goes, I haven't found coke yet. <laughs> I haven't. I'm finding <laughs> meth and heroin together. Holy but there's fuck. no coke in Austin. I was just like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry for laughing, but it's kind of funny. But it's not really funny. It's actually very sad because comics, I mean, uh. yeah. What if it makes me feel good? Thank you, George. No, I mean, that's, I mean, again, I want you to be able to take a painkiller, but only get the opiate. If you want, I'm not judging. You know what? You're right. I will judge no. you as an opiate addict. I'll be like, you're a loser. You're an opiate addict. You know what? You're right. But I'm going to drink nothing but handles. At, at least you know what, at least alcohol isn't cut. I'm going to drink handles. Every, oh, candles. Handles. I, said, I said handles. Oh, handles. Like, Don't drink every candles. Night, every night, four <laughs> handles of Jack. And we and you'll see the man I become. <laughs> Tony Casillas. I just come home and I'm like, I'll send you to the moon, Sean. <laughs> I'll send you to the moon and back. I'll send you back to hell. I don't know, man. We don't have... It's just... It's what? Again, it's just... It's just not going to happen to you. It might. No, but that's what you got to say. It's not going to happen to you. You're right. Exactly. It's not going to happen to you. (laughs) They probably are off, honestly. Because, like, dude, you know what is funny? Could you imagine, like, because to do those tests, they have to buy drugs. And guys like me go do that. Like, hello, good sir. I'd like to purchase um, 482 pills, please. (laughs) They're like, uh, why? Like, I'm testing them. Uh, I I think the problem happens. Okay. First of all, you're buying a tester because you do a lot of drugs. Mm -hmm. But that means that. You have to throw away all the drugs that you already bought. You're not going to get your money back. You know what I mean? So if you're a drug addict, there's no way you're going to throw away the drugs, even if they're bad. Now you're just making yourself paranoid because you know it's fentanyl in there. Yeah. And it's now you're ignorance is bliss. Yeah, exactly. That's a... Watching somebody else for a couple hours. That's like nature. Yeah. another monkey grabbed a mushroom and took it. The other like, all right, let's see this motherfucker. <laughs> that's what I do. Thank yeah. you. That's oh, what that's, I do. I agree with that. I will watch <laughs> people. Yeah, like he eats yeah. the berries under the tree, and you're like, "All right, those berries seem safe." That's no, I've goes, done that. I've done. <laughs> yeah, first time I ever did like shrooms was that like a buddy of mine said, "I'll take it," and I was like, "Oh, it seems like he's ha- he's having a chill time, good time. I'll take it," and I had a great time. Yeah, I'm not saying that's a bad stra- strategy. I'm just saying it's just. It's just um, it's not the Sean strategy. It's not. I would. I mean, again, it's just <sighs> so much. That's is, what I do. So much like drinking and driving. Same concept. You see, you watch another guy drink and drive. And, yeah, oh, yeah, he made, oh, he made, he it. made it. I can make it. Yeah, 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 I can make it. He's he's fine. You yell at him. <laughs> hey, how much did you drink? <laughs> oh, oh, I that was that like, much. It was like our Uber driver in Chicago. Oh yeah. He was like he was going out. He was going out and he was like saying he was like, Yeah, I'm going out with this girl tomorrow. If I have like like six, seven drinks, I can still drive drive her home, right? <laughs> and me and Sean are just in the back like I like put my seatbelt on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're like, just in the back just like I don't I don't know, man. And then Sean's like, "Yeah, you you probably want to dance it off, maybe drink a few waters, and then yeah, yeah, you'll be a good friend." <laughs> that's that's true, though. You you balance it out with some water. You wait, and you're gonna be a good mom when you grow up. Yeah. <laughs> no, I will be. I mean, I'm gonna be a cool dad. I don't think in this you, podcast. I don't think you're gonna be a cool dad. What? You won't be a cool. Uh, dad. You, I think you're gonna be. You'll be a cool dad. You'll think you're a cool dad. But they're gonna be like, Dad, I don't wanna talk about this with you. This yeah. is embarrassing. Stop oh, talking Sean, about you, this. you wouldn't <laughs> take your kid to go see Marvel. I wouldn't raise you, my child on that filth. 
Yeah, I wouldn't raise my child. A, your kid's going to you know be what? like, Dad, can I dress up as Iron Man for Halloween? You're going to be like, no, you're going to be the tax man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say, no, you're going to dress up as you're gonna uh, be Uncle Schindler's Sam. List. <laughs> Seven years old. I'm from Schindler's List. Yeah, I'm Schindler from Schindler's it's List. It's just his daughter in a red dress. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Bill from Kill Bill. You're four. You're four. This You're is my, this is my son, Bob. Oh, uh, uh, what's your son? He's a cab driver. No, he's actually Robert De Niro from the film Taxi. Yes. Wasn't he like a rapist in that mo- Yes. Yes, he was. Who are you for Halloween? I'm, I'm the warlock from Hereditary. Yeah. <laughs> your kid's going to be like, Dad, can we watch Iron Man 2? No. We're watching Hereditary. <laughs> All right. We're watching Midsummer again, and now I want you to pay attention to the details. Okay, so if drugs are in your world now regulated, are what are you telling your kids about drugs now? I would say this. I would say, um, look, uh, I don't know what a good su- name is. Jared. Not your Jared. son's name? Probably name him like Asmodeus. Osmodius? <laughs> you know what that means? No, no what is Osmodius? He's the king of kings of hell. Seven, <laughs> the nine realms you of hell. Dungeons and dragons. Guy. Yeah, Asmodius. Um, and I'd say Asmodius, look. <laughs> you uh, He's just spinning guest <laughs> Look, as I, was, I would say. <laughs> you be Osmodius. Daddy. Daddy. You know I, you know I hate in, you. In my <laughs> life, Osmodius is blind. He can't open his eyes. <laughs> Daddy. Son, um. When I grow up. <laughs> Dad, do you know how drugs are legal now? Uh, yes, and I do. And they're regulated. Yes, I do, son. When I grow up, <laughs> I want to do Molly. Well, so I can finally feel. Because you and mom are really cold. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think I've actually felt anything since I've been born. <laughs> Well, look, Asmodeus, <laughs> you, you are the um, you are the ordained prince of the nine realms of hell, and I can't just give you a hug. <laughs> it would ruin your your kind of motive. Your, it would be it wouldn't be canon with the rest of your character. Um, I do have her have some fentanyl for you. <laughs> um. No, but would you let your kid? What would you teach? That's a good, great question, Josh. What, what would you teach your kid? He's fourteen, fifteen. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Drugs are now legal. Like you said, you can buy the. I can buy any you drug. You can buy at the 7- Adderall, oh, Scorpion. <laughs> at Seven Eleven, why do you keep saying Seven Eleven? At least they CVS Pharmacy. Yeah. At least they like Walmart. No, no, no. Because let me pause you right there. You associate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ve- I'm so serious about my beliefs here. This is that's crazy. <laughs> you are you are indoctrinated, Tony. You are indoctrinated. You associate CVS with drugs, yes, right? It's called you, a pharmacy. You want to know why you do that? Because it's called a pharmacy. Because you have been bought. You have bought the lie from Pfizer and and Moderna and um, Abbott and all these drug companies that. They that drugs are uh, that drugs are scary, and that you you can't make your own choices. Sean, and I, you've oh, scared me more about drugs than Pfizer ever has. I didn't mean to. That's not my. <laughs> that's not my intention. You made I Josh pull up percent. You made Josh <laughs> next next time, next time I'm at the club listening to Usher's Yeah, and the buddy's like, "Do you want to do Molly?" I'm gonna be like. There's a 42% chance I'm going to die before the end of the song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> As you do the thunderclap. Yeah. <laughs> On the club and I'm ODing. <laughs> She's looking at me foam in her mouth. <laughs> okay. So what would you tell your kid? If, That's a great song, by yeah, the way. Well, it's a fantastic song. Well, you, should, gonna say, you should listen to it on Molly. It's <laughs> even better. But, uh... What would you tell your kid? I would say, son, um, you're getting up that age where your friends are probably doing drugs. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I would say this. Fortunately, we live in a world where ph- pharmaceutical companies don't limit your access to these drugs. Um, uh, you know, a- there are many addictive substances out there. Sugar is addictive. Uh, jacking off. Mashing is addictive. <laughs> 
I wouldn't say that. I don't know. That's a different conversation with a kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's a different conversation with a kid. <laughs> I would say, look, look, every, I would say, as, as, as Modius, everything is hey, chemical. Son, son, <laughs> doing coke is like masturbating. You know? You should only do it once in a while. You should do it with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Only do it when your friends are around. <laughs> Look, I would say no, for real though. I would say um that uh <laughs> there are drugs out there that uh are very addictive like like opiates or like um amphetamines. They make you feel really good and people do these drugs cuz they make it's fun and it and it's also but they can be abused. Just like people abuse sugar. People have People addict are addicted to sugar. Yeah. And I would say that, like, you can go to 7-Eleven and buy a Slurpee every day. That's addictive. You can go to 7-Eleven and you can buy, buy opiates every day and get high all day. Um, and I don't recommend that you that you can experiment with these drugs. And you could even do them sometimes. And I would say, luckily, we live in a society where if you want to do an opiate, all you're going to get is that opiate. When I go and buy a donut, I'm, I know what I'm going to get. I'm gonna get sugar and carbs. Mm, but you could even say like, and I'm not saying you can, no. But let me give a counterpoint. You can say that we've all been lied to, even by like restaurants. Like when we went to Subway, we thought, oh, we're getting good bread, and now it turns out they're not even legally allowed to call it bread anymore. Yeah, because it's sugar. Or you go, oh, when I go to Wendy's, I've been getting beef. But you've been really just getting pink slime. Well, in a way, putting fentanyls in drugs is the most American thing you can do. <laughs> yep. In a way, that's the most American thing you can do. Is by selling a product and actually not giving you that product. So in a way, your drug policy is communist. And what? I, I was and with I, you until you said the communist line. And I won't stand for it, Sean. No, but pure I, drugs I, that makes I'm, me sick. I want America is all about a the pure roulette. race of drugs. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I like the roulette wheel. America's built on the roulette wheel. But here, here's the difference. Here's the difference is when I, when I the chi the chi I, the Chinese came over here to build the railway. They thought, oh, we're gonna <laughs> no, they didn't. They forced them to. <laughs> yeah, they came over here to build the railway. What did you but they, say? They, they promised them the Chinese came over here to build the railway. Yeah. The, yeah, you drug addict. You <laughs> it's fucking true eye. though. Is it? Am I wrong? Jo what Josh said was true. They were for, but we we promised them. We <laughs> said if you build it, you'll get a, get a good life. And guess and what? They played that roulette wheel, and they were wrong. <laughs> Man, but they played the wheel. Don't compare Chinese immigrants to fentanyl addicts. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they probably some of them probably were. Yeah. Opium. Opium. Or, you know. So I'm we're getting saying. off track. I think there's something I wanted to really say. Hammer the point home. Oh yeah. Oh. When you do, when you buy that MDMA in Vegas. Also, it's not a psychedelic. You said it was a psychedelic. I'm sorry, but it's just. I'm a, sorry. It just. Tony was right. People, During the 19th century, more than 2.5 million Chinese citizens left their country and were hired in 1864 as a labor shortage during the railroad. Right, I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, they I they weren't slight. They were promised. Well, they blew them up in those railroad. A lot of oh, them, you, yeah. no, no, no. But they were promised. It, it, it's like they were promised, come help build the railroad. Mm -hmm. The work conditions were terrible. A lot of people died. So every time you take the train, that's why I hear Chinese ghosts. <laughs> Anytime you take the train. No, Tony, that's the fentanyl. <laughs> you hear Chinese ghosts. No, but like they How were does promised. How it sound? <laughs> 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 oh, It's great. Oh, yeah. fuck? Oh, yo. That, one, you're, you're, that accent's still okay, I think. Oh, yeah. still do that one. Was that oh, bad? Yo. Was that bad, Josh? You can watch it again. No, I don't want to. <laughs> we'll censor it. Oh, yo. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> <laughs> to Las Vegas. <laughs> but, yeah. What was your point you wanted to So, here's the thing. <laughs> when you buy MDMA in Vegas and it's cut with fentanyl and you die, right? Yeah. You can't sue a drug dealer. But if I go to Subway and I and I get a sandwich that is uh that gives me cancer, mm -hmm. I have legal recourse. I have yeah, the but law hey, hey, on Sean, my side. Sean, Sean, Sean. Sean, when I'm dead, 
legal recourse <laughs> isn't really going to be my first, like, I'm not going to be in heaven and be like, fuck, that sucks that I'm dead. But at least I could have had legal recourse. Okay, well, fine. I'm not, then we then we can have uh, a, we so, can hey, have a large. So the, the companies that you sell that eventually make bombs and kill people. Yeah. Are you telling like the people we bomb, like. In Iraq, you're at like, you're like, oh, it's fine that we're bombing these these hospitals and these children, because at least they have some legal recourse. I don't I don't think we should have a military at all. <laughs> I don't believe in the notion of a country, so no, I don't think it's okay. You don't believe in a country? No. Is this John, a new is this a new belief? It's kind of new. John Lennon said, "Imagine no countries." So I love. I mean, he also got assassinated. Yeah. Why? Why don't? Why don't you believe in a country? Just real quick. Okay. Before we go. What is a country? What is the prime? What is the primary ser- service of the government? Take care of its people. No. Try again. <laughs> um, make money. Fuck bitches. So I mean, think, <laughs> think about. I mean, like, no. Here's the way I see it. The government uh, is a. Uh, is a uh, corporation, right? Yeah. With a monopoly on violence, they're allowed to. They're allowed to steal from you. They're allowed to steal property from you, and they're allowed to, you know, kill you. imprison you and kill you. Um, but that's only if you break. Like, basically, the government's only real service is to protect your protect property. Mm-hmm. The only reason we. Ha- the only reason you pay taxes, is to fund a military that will defend your property. From people that may steal, that may want to steal it. Yeah, that's the primary service of the government. So you don't want, right? You don't want a government. I want to. I I want. I mean, if there were no, if there were no, I I believe I I think in the future there they may there may very well be no countries. I think that there. You you want that? It's not what what I want or no don't want. Did I say I don't want countries? Yeah. Oh yeah. You want, a one, <laughs> you, you want a one world government? I want. I don't want any. I want every. Well, it's it's all fucked You're gonna either need way. A government. You're going to need something in power, or we're living in hell. Well, in a lawless what's, land. What's going? It's no, Sean. What the you law. want? No, Sean. What you want is you want to be the king of the world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the law. The I mean, we're. I think in the in the future we're going to have like very well. I, we kind of already live in that future where like, yeah, you know, you have people that control their governments and you know i mean i just i just really think that like the way that we because the way that we pay for protection is going to change mm-hmm. instead of paying the united states government and funding the military because well, well i brought i brought this up because you said you don't want the military going to the middle east and killing brown people i don't want that either so maybe we should stop funding the military but you can't. You have to pay taxes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, so, what if we started our own country? And that's why you shouldn't do fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start our own country. I'm like tweaking did, hard right now. Kind of like they did. Uh, kind of like they did in Seattle. What was that place called? Chaz. The Chaz, Chaz Chop. Yeah, Chaz. That was actually a salad bar. <laughs> I would just FYI, if you ever ran a country, I would go away. I would not live there. And that would be fine with me. I would allow emigration. No, you wouldn't. I would you allow would have emig- open borders. I would have open. My country is going to be a country of the mind. The thing is, I think, Sean, I think you have some really good ideas. And I think you think you would be a just leader. But I think within three years, North Korea, your country would be like North Korea. Mm-hmm. You'd be on TV. Make sure to <laughs> make sure to test all your drugs. So fentanyl is not in it. <laughs> He goes, today is powdered donut day. Today, <laughs> you are allowed to indulge in powdered donut as your Tuesday. leader has. And then the next day, a kid, it is will mandatory. Like, a kid will be like, mommy, can I have my powdered donut today? And we're like, well, Today's let's ask. salmon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today. today is salmon day. You may not eat salmon. <laughs> I don't are care. You, do you just hate drugs because you've never done a real drug? I resent that statement. No, it's true, though. <laughs> it's true. You always tell, you say you did acid, but you did research chemical. You never did the real thing. Is that why you're upset? It's because everybody else is having fun, and you're doing you're doing your little lab tests? Can I be really, really, really <laughs> real? Yeah. Maybe really, really real. Okay. My buddy, 
who did that research chemical with me, we all thought it was acid. Yeah. L- and by acid, I mean LSD. I stopped doing it when I realized it was not LSD. And it was actually, in fact, a drug, you know, that could, uh, you can OD on. And my buddy, he lived, but he then continued to do it and overdosed. Wow. Um, he was like kind of a, you know, whatever, spoiled rich brat like myself. Fucking ass, like just to do like a fucking, you know, punk, punk ass kid. <laughs> but he still, he still OD'd. And so it's not that I don't hate drugs. I just don't want Tony. I could have literally Sean. Your face could have been blue. I could have flown to Vegas. No, Sean, Sean, like, Sean, 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 Sean. Yeah. Imagine yourself with Sean, a blue Sean, face Sean, ODing. Sean, Sean. I've in the never mirage. called one that's of my dope. Sean, Sean. I've never called one of my friends that's the same age a punk ass kid. <laughs> he is. He's a punk ass kid. Yeah. But again, I'm I'm glad he didn't die. But he fuck, he OD'd, and so it's like. Whatever I'm not I I I don't I, I'm not saying that to like. That's not a hard thing. Like I didn't. It was it was like a wake up call for me. But it's sh- certain. It, other people have had it way way worse than that. What I went through is not a fucking war story. It's not a. It's not a. Uh, you know. Yeah. It's a fucking. But like that's so that's why it's just like. Um, I think also you don't like being. Uh, you have to have control. And I do. With those you can't have control. You gotta let go. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, that's what you can try. I mean, you, you, you can, I, I would, I could try it and that's why I don't but do then it. You'll have a bad trip. Yeah. That's why I would just try buy a, buy a testing kit is the pra- the practical answer is buy a testing kit. Right. Um, dude, should we talk about, uh, Parkland? <laughs> what? There's some updates what with happened? that story. What happened? The guy was acquitted. The Parkland, Parkland shooter? shooter or not acquitted. He got, he, he was uh, saved from the death penalty. Yeah, well, That's two big different things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah. not acquitted. He's not roaming I, the streets. I was, <laughs> I was about to say our system is fucked. <laughs> now, literally, I went from oh my god, our system's fucked to oh that's a good thing. Our government <laughs> shouldn't kill people. <laughs> acquitted. What the He's fuck? He's like, I'm free. <laughs> 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 no evidence. What? Your honor. Fucking liar. Everything I've been saying, I don't believe any of what I'm saying. Acquitted. Yeah. He had a speech like OJ. If you can't hear. He, <laughs> if the gun don't fit. He's a liar, dude. Yeah. Quit. If you can't hear the kid scream, you must set me hey, free. You. <laughs> You put me put me on Joe Rogan. I want I want to tell some lies. He got acquitted. Like acquitted. I'm just on Fox News. Like yeah, you got acquitted. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you got a life sentence. <laughs> <laughs> he still got punished. <laughs> Dude. Why did you say that? Bro. He got it's, <laughs> Dude, Even acquitted. <laughs> what's his What's his name? What's the guy's name? Uh, Alex. Um, uh, oh, no, no. He got, Not uh, Alex. Hold on. That is a crazy thing. He got acquitted. Nicholas you know, Cruz. Nicholas Cruz got acquitted. He should have been acquitted. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no, that was oh, that was horrible. Yeah. Okay. He didn't get the death penalty. That's a good thing. Oh uh, no, I, I I agree. I was just wondering. That's a good yeah. thing. That yeah. I don't. Well, you want to know why? But apparently, he it may be reversed. This is, is true. Is <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like All right. it was so. Uh, <laughs> it was eleven to one. Yeah, it was eleven to one. Eleven sentence. Eleven people said he should have gotten the chair. By the way, eleven of you, your puss. Fuck you. Sending a man to death is 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 a disgusting thing to do. I hey, don't care. Hey, uh, <laughs> Eleven of them wanted him to die. One of them wanted to quit the boy. <laughs> <laughs> and that man what if I just was Sean the jury? Riley. <laughs> I was just in the jury room, like, look, I don't. Th- I think he did this. <laughs> hey, hey. I mean, <laughs> did he do it? Yeah, but like, I just think he's innocent. Hey, <laughs> <It's> just, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look, did he, he do it? Yeah. Does he feel sorry about it? Maybe. <laughs> he 
He's been right. He's been hey. writing on his notepad. Hey, hey, we all fuck up. <laughs> we all. When I, when I was a kid, I thought I took LSD, but I took a research chemical, uh, and then <laughs> and my punk ass friend gave to me. And he goes, Real. Nicholas Cruz just seems like a punk ass kid. <laughs> He's a little punk ass kid, but look. Set him free, let him go. <laughs> He's a punk. Look, I was a punk too, and I get it. Sometimes you shoot up a school. You have a gun on you, you give it. See, I like this kid. You hand it to Nicholas Cruz. See, he would never hurt anybody. Nicholas Cruz shoots him in the head. And I'll get up. So it was 11 wanted him to get the death penalty, and one said no? Here's the story 11 people voted to sentence him to death. Yeah. Um. Also, the whole. the whole. Uh, this one said 9 3. Oh, I'm just lying all over the place. <laughs> it was 9-3? I thought it was 11-1. Uh, I read something. What does on. it say there, Josh? I'm looking for it. I, I, I read something. So, yeah, I mean, 9-3, 11-1, 9-11, whatever it is. <laughs> um, the, the, um, there was, I, I, I wish it was 11. Anyway, the one or whatever three people that didn't want it. <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> The one or three people <laughs> that didn't want him to die. That wanted him acquitted. Uh, I, and <laughs> say, say, that, say what you said. The, the one guy that wanted him acquitted. Yes. The one of three people. Dude, what if you're just in front of that courthouse <laughs> acquit Nicholas Cruz? <laughs> yeah, nine. Here we go. With a nine-three vote Thursday, supporting Cruz's execution. Dude, that'd be hilarious if you're like, there's protests like, no more death penalty, and I'm like, acquit Nicholas Cruz. I'm funny. It's a strong word. The, the, funny. It, okay, no. The new be, law says bad. it has to be twelve zero, dude. So every, it has to be unanimous for death penalty. Yes, it's funny, but <laughs> you also know that every day the parents of the kids have to walk in that courthouse. It would become a lot less no, no, funny know, when they saw you and just <laughs> lanky you acquit Nicholas Cruz. No, acquit <laughs> Nick. It would that. This yeah. is all. This is all jokes. The <laughs> <laughs> I the parent I I dude. I'm I I can't put myself in that situation when a ki my kid gets shot at school. Yeah, of, I of, of of course, like of course I want I would I, of course I would want to go outside of our legal system and fucking kill him. Yeah, I want if I was a, a a father and my son gets killed by Nicholas Cruz, I may I might murder him. Yeah, I I and like I literally I might find a way to kill him. Mm -hmm. I might end, but I might end my life, Daddy. To kill him. Daddy. But daddy, daddy, daddy. I'm the prince of hell. <laughs> daddy, you don't have to kill Nicholas Cruz. Just let him live his life. I am Nicholas Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> aren't we all, daddy, aren't we all a little bit of a Nicholas Cruz? Son, you're right. <laughs> that was the judge. Who's the judge? She's, she's, um, uh, she's a really good judge, by the way. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Why are you saying wow? Because she's a good judge. She's really good at her job. Yep. That's what I'm saying, man. She's stunning. She's stunning. What if Nick Nicholas Cruz sees her and he's like trying to like dress up? Like he's trying to act nice, kind of trying to go like, so what are you doing? <laughs> and then look, at this, this, she's like, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, she's like fucking Vogue model. Yeah. Put that, put the Vogue logo over that. Just get her. And she's a great judge too. She's beautiful and she's a great judge. Yeah. She doesn't take shit. In that courtroom, I watched the whole thing. Almost the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, which one? The whole thing or almost the whole thing? <laughs> I'm Alex Jones now. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I watched a lot of it. Not yeah. all of it. Do you but feel bad for him? I saw him cry. Do you feel bad for him? No. I don't feel bad for him. He said he Cruz. loves the families. Uh, look, I mean. How old is he? 24. 24, 25. Because he should definitely go to jail for life. No parole. He should. He should go to. He should. I think. I think he should be in jail, forever. No chance of parole. Does he just, also hearing him talk? He's like a crazy person. He's like a mental. <laughs> and that's why. No, I, that's is, why I thought no, he should have quit. No, my thing is though. <laughs> I think. I think the way to like stop school shootings was like because I think killing him is just easy. You get rid of the issue. He killed him, but I think. Like, they should have doctors and psychiatrists sit down and talk to him. Like, beat for beat to figure out how it got to that moment. Yeah. And I think if maybe it would help stop future school shootings. Well, Because it seems like, like, I want to know, like, what was the point? 
where all your rational thought just leaves your head to do something like that. It's when he got onto 4chan and became an incel. Yeah. Probably. But it's like, but it's also, it's like, it's like, it's like, what has, what makes a man or someone become, get to that point? Tony, love makes you do crazy things. Yeah, but dude, I broke. No, no, no. But there's a difference though. I've gotten rejected by girls, da, da, da. And I, I've never had the thought to do something like that. There, it, it's it's easy to just say, oh, he's a weirdo, he's an incel. That's, that's an easy cop out. But there's like there there had to be something. There well, to, I mean, he has fetal alcohol syndrome. Yeah. Uh, well, I, mean, I also his, have his, a buddy. I have a buddy that has fetal alcohol syndrome, and the worst thing he does is talk too much about Madden football. But like, I'm not trying to defend him. By the yeah. way, uh, I like. I mean, yeah, but the, it's it's a tough issue because the parents. The parents of the of the um, victims, they said that uh, this is a they're disappointed because they wanted to give him death to send a message to future school shooters that uh, if you shoot up a school, we will send you to death. Right, that's what the parent the parents wanted to send that message. Yeah, and I understand. I mean, the thing is, it's just there's so much emotion. If you lose a kid that way. There's so much, and I'm not saying that they're not like thinking logically because they're too emotional. That's not what I'm saying either. No, also, but my, my thing is, I think the only people that I 100% understand are the the victim, the families of the victims. I get that them going like being sad he didn't get the death penalty. I, like I said, I would I get kill. that. I get that. I get the, that. And the and the, I would say the reason we have the law. Is to be uh, dispassionate about how we apply the law. Yeah. Because if you're involved in a crime. You're not think. In, if you're involved in a crime, the last thing you want to hear is some guy say, "Well, a guy, a, a guy like me, being like, well, I don't want to give the, empower the state to have the ability to execute anyone." Mm -hmm. You're gonna be like, "Fuck you, bro." Yeah. I don't care about your libertarian bullshit. Yeah. I don't care what you empower the state with or not. I want him to die. Yeah. And I'd be like, I get it. I just don't like the um, idea that the government could kill you because I think. It they get it wrong. If they I get I it would wrong a lot, rather one thousand criminals roam free than one innocent man die because of the state. I think you want a thousand criminals roaming free. <laughs> 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 you want a thousand, ten thousand criminals roam free. <laughs> you want a thousand? That would be bad. That's <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> You're just like wait, wait, wait. So until, you're telling me until no, you you're like this, until no, you become no, the man that gets executed by no, the no, state no, no. Sean, wrongfully. Sean, Sean, Sean. Yeah, yeah. You're like okay. So we have a hundred percent proof that these are thousand people are rapists. But this guy, <laughs> there's a forty two ch percent chance that this guy could be acquitted. Fucking let the rapists roam free. That's you're joking. That is the big, <laughs> you no you joke. But that's the basis for our legal system. Yeah. Is that you are innocent until proven. What do you want to live in? Fucking. You want to live in Libya? Where they cut off your hand if you piss in a tree, in the wrong tree? You show your dick, you show your cock? I like that. I think we should bring that law. If you fuck up, get your hand cut off. I think we, after being in Vegas. Kamarabi. After being in Vegas, I, I agree with that law. All we would have is. A bunch of homeless guys with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> then they can't even jack off. Well, they can still jack off, but do you need hard. two hands? Okay, Mister Braggett. <laughs> two hands. He's over here just. Three would jack off each other. Then. Yeah. yeah. How am I going to jack off two guys? <laughs> <laughs> Cut my hand off. No. Um, what about my orgies? <laughs> how am I going to flick? <laughs> How am I gonna flick off the rich pricks that are doing cocaine in my neighborhood <laughs> <laughs> while I'm shitting on myself? <laughs> yeah, you like to cut my hand off like lots of drug addicts to that out in our city. How Damn. long have we done, Joshi? Hour twenty. Hour All twenty. Right. Um So final take. Okay. Uh you go I don't know. I was, just, <laughs> I was gonna say so. I just wanted to say, man, it's it's crazy that we live in a world that someone like Nicholas Cruz can be acquitted, but <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, uh, <laughs> you know, OJ, fucking OJ got, OJ got what he got, so I guess. OJ got what he got. Freedom. He got what he got. He got freedom, so I guess Nicholas Cruz deserves freedom, so based on the information Sean gave us. <laughs>
You know, crime, crime is just, crime is just like a Fugazi. <laughs> Fugazi. It's Fugazi. You can, you can create a, you can do a small crime, not get punished, or you can murder innocent children and get acquitted. So just, I think the lesson we learned today from Sean Riley is don't do Molly, but just do what makes you feel right, whether it is, you know, go to work every day or murder innocent children in a building. You know, that you is almost, exa- that is exactly you, you what know, if we didn't have Josh, there would be people listening to this that would have been like, wait, that guy got acquitted. So I'm <laughs> invincible. <laughs> you know, if we didn't have Josh, you could have done a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm not responsible for what I say. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm responsible for the drugs I take? Yeah, because it's your body. It's your, I mean... My body, my choice? That's my whole thing. <laughs> that's my whole thing. I'm not, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I, I mean, I, I'm just saying you're dumb for doing it. All right. You are. You are. It, it, I mean, I, anyway, I'll leave it, I'll leave it at that. I, I mean, I think I've... Hammered it home enough that, you know. This was fun. You did fan the whole in Vegas. <laughs> this was fun. Uh, this is a good episode. You can follow me at Comedian Tony Casillas. I got some dates coming up. I uh, would love to see you. We got another Pure Fun comedy show here in Austin, November 5th at 10 o'clock. Well, uh, Josh ran the last one. It was it a was success. Fun. And uh, thank you, Josh. Mm-hmm. And uh, Sean, where can people find you? Don't look for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, Re- Sean Riley Comedy on Instagram. And then I'm going to be in Denver from the 9th to the 12th. Of what? Doing some shows on November, November 9th to wow. the 12th. Um, so come out. Come on out to Denver. They have legal psych- psychedelics in Denver. I know. Are you going to do something? No. <laughs> I will only do it when 7-Eleven sells it. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, Josh. Uh, comedyfrequency.com. Make sure to, if you have a sketch, to submit to battlethesketches.com or go to Film Freeway and do Battle of the Sketches. And I'll be headlining Monk's Jazz November 26th. That's the really? last Saturday. Ooh, fuck yeah. So go check that out. Also, we had uh, George. He was just hanging out. He'll mm-hmm. be a future guest, but the guy who was laughing in the back <laughs> is George Anthony. Very funny yeah, comic. Yeah, George. I, I really dig y'all's thing. I like you a lot. Um, oh, that shit was just like he got acquitted. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like you're a troll, but you didn't even know it. Like while our hearts drool, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we got you acquitted, like or you got life in prison. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it was pretty cool, bro. And I, I, I really dig your vibe and shit, Tony. I, I fucking love you. Thank Thank you. Where can people find you, George? Where can find you? This is fucking funny as fuck, dude. Find George, George Anthony. Anthony on, comedy. Look out, George Anthony. And comedy. he will definitely be a guest in the near future. So, uh, thank you guys. Rate and review. Bye. Give us a, yeah, Spotify, Apple, YouTube. Bye. Bye.